What is up guys, it is Jordan here and welcome back to a brand new video. This video is just going to try to be a one take talk about the game World War 3. If you follow my channel you know that I have played this game before and I did praise it a hell of a lot. I said in that video that I thought it was one of the best games I've played in a long time and that was true. I had so much fun with this game. It was ridiculous. However, it's been about two weeks since I made that video, maybe a bit longer and I've been trying to make another video on this game. But I can't because of the amount of issues it has and that's what's leading me to make this video. If you're a fan of this game, don't rage the title just yet. I'm not here to completely slate the game or anything. The title is not necessarily a negative thing. Probably put a question mark in the title just so that you can see that it's more of an open discussion. So don't think I'm slating on this game. All the developers, I will say some things that may come across as harsh to some, but it's more constructive criticism. I, I like the devs, I like the game. But let's not lie, this game is in a bad situation right now. Compared to where compared to where it was before it came out, there was so much hype around it pre-launch. And then I think they just launched too early and now it's in a really bad state. And I feel like I have to make this video, well not have to, I want to make this video to hopefully go over some of the points and tell people exactly where this game is at. Because for some people they're kind of confused right now. So, World War 3. Is it too late to save this game? Is this game dead on arrival like you've probably seen in countless other YouTube video titles and posts on Reddit? Or is there still a chance for this game? I'm going to break this down to two simple sections. Bad points, good points. We're going to go with the bad points and then we'll end the video with the silver lining of the good points. So let's talk about the issue. This game was incredibly hyped. Like I said, tons and tons and tons of people were really looking forward to this game coming out and it looked like it was going pretty solid for the game because it had this massive support for it and it, the trailers looked promising and it looked like it was going to be the next big battlefield type game and then it launched and it was played with issues after issues after issues. Most people couldn't even play the game. It was that bad. It wasn't like little bugs here and there. It was unplayable. Even now it's still unplayable player but I said to you earlier I couldn't get into a game. So the first big issue is a simple one. They clearly launched the game way too early. Early access is definitely a thing that people, it's a weird place right now in gaming. Some people defend it and say no it's purely for testing purposes and then other people just want to hop into the game that they're looking forward to early and just buy early access to get into the game and then are shocked to realize that it's not a finished project. Early access is, it's really really weird. But you can't charge for a game that straight up doesn't work is the way I always think of it. You can charge for early access, I have nothing against early access, I'm not a massive fan of it. But when the game just straight up doesn't work, then you've got an issue. If you as a developer need funding at this point when your game's not ready to be launched, then go with a back backing project or a Kickstarter or something like that. But the thing is, selling an early access, yes, it's designed to test the game, but they've got internal testing for that. They've got closed beaters. They don't need to go into early access. Early access is a way to get people involved with the game and also to fund the game. But when your game show doesn't work, then you should be looking at alternative routes because that means the game is now launched with this reputation for being a broken mess. And for some people, that reputation will never go. There are many people that will not touch this game again because of the way it launched and it sounds petty and in some ways it is but at the same time people have a right to choose what they want to spend their time on and if they hear constant bad news about a game they're probably going to often think of it as a bad game because of how it launched. For instance right now the biggest bug in this game I think for most people is the fact that it's got a constant infinite loading screen issue for most players. Most players cannot load into the game. You either get stuck in an infinite loading screen getting into the main menu or you get stuck in an infinite loading screen getting into the game and they had a patch for it that didn't fix it they've talked about it in numerous tweets and it didn't fix it or you know didn't show any signs of being fixed just yet apparently they came up with a patch but then realized that that patch would break other things so they didn't release that patch and it's a confusing one but this game's been out now for like i don't know a good couple of months and it still is played by that infinite loading screen bug and that that does baffle me because a bug that big should have been squashed long ago and that's not just because it's a bug and it needs to be fixed that's because this bug is preventing people from actually enjoying your game investing in it and sharing and promoting it like when that happens you're kind of screwed because this game hasn't even been promoted yet with advertisements it's purely riding off the people that play it and stream it and videos like this this is where it gets its promotion from i'm indirectly promoting it right now by making this video which is cool because influencers on youtube and stuff are a great way to promote games but when your game is that broken that people load it up and stream it and then can't play it then the only information that people that haven't bought it yet are getting is this game is broken from youtubers that they watch but I'm not going to talk about bugs too much because there's not much to talk about other than the fact there's tons of them. The game crashes and the game doesn't load most of the time. So common issues that you would expect from an early access game, admittedly to a more extreme degree in this game, but you know, normal issues you would expect. My other problem with this game is some decisions that developers have made. And again, I'm not hating the developers. I actually think they're really cool people. I follow them on Twitter. I've spoken to them a few times. I think they're cool. However, they recently did this thing where they released a prototype map, which you're seeing footage of in the background now. This map is the Unreal 
released. Now, releasing a prototype map is cool. I have nothing against that. I think it's a cool idea to let people see what you're working on. However, don't release the prototype map into the rank, uh, not ranked, so I've been playing too much Siege, into the map pool. You cannot avoid this map. If you want to play Warzone, you will probably get this map and there's nothing you can do about it. Why on earth would you do that? Because now you've got people that have just picked up the game and then they load into it and they see this and they think that there's something wrong with their game. And then they go and Google it and realize, oh wait, no, the game is just not finished. And they think that the Map, all maps probably look like that and you may be thinking well sure they can just do some research and find out that it's not but that's not the case for some people some people will just see that and think what the hell is this no thank you and refund it on steam before it goes over two hours and i fully understand that because to be honest i hate the prototype map i really do i don't want to play on an unfinished map i thought it was cool to look at for five minutes but i don't want to have it as an actual map in the game when there's three or four other completely finished ones why on earth would i want to play on an untextured map where snipers can kill me from god knows wherever because they can see me from wherever because there's no grass in the damn map. That's a stupid idea to me. But I want to reiterate, releasing a prototype map is not a stupid idea, but putting it in with all the normal maps and making it unskippable is a stupid idea because you cannot get around it. If you don't want to play the completely weird, untextured, unfinished map, then screw you. You can't. You have to play it. Go and suck it up and then hopefully get a map you want next time. I literally, I was, today I really wanted to play some Warzone and I got that map four or five times in a row and I was like, no, I can't be bothered anymore. And I turned it off because I don't want to play that map. They should have a development test build version of the game for this kind of stuff. Maps like that should be either completely optional or they should be in a PTE version of the game. Not in the actual official game itself because you're giving off a really bad first impression for tons of people picking up this game. So those are the two biggest things right now and I know it's like not tons of points because I don't want to sound like I'm ranting at every aspect of this game because I understand that some things have to be less slide and early access. However those two things are huge especially the infinite loading screen and the unfinished map in the official map pool are two of the weirdest things for me because one hasn't been patched for ages and one of them just shouldn't be there. So now I'm going to talk about the actual game itself because I don't want to hate on this game entirely because genuinely when it works I can say this hand on my heart it is one of the best games I have played in a very long time. I had so much damn fun with this game which is why it pains me that I can never get into the damn thing because I really want to play it like I, I wanted to make so many videos on this game and I still will I'm not giving up on this game but I can't make like I can't come home from work and say okay today I'm going to make a video on World War 3. I have to come home and say I might make a video on World War 3 if it works if not I'll go and do this. I always have to have a backup plan. Normally I just say to myself at work oh I really want to record a video on this game and I'll go home and record it but I can't with this game because it's a 50 50 chance I'm not even a 50 50 chance there's an 80 percent chance I won't get into the game and a 20 percent chance I will but that being said the game is really really good it is so damn good and if they had launched later with less bugs I think even in early access it would be ridiculously popular the problem for me now is that this amazing game because it will be like I have faith in the developers that it will get there I think when it's done it will be brilliant the problem is is will this launch situation ruin it will it taint it to the point where people don't pick it up as much and it doesn't become a massive success because this game when when it's finished will deserve success if it gets polished and finished then it's it's amazing i honestly would say that the last time i had this much fun with a game of this style was battlefield 3 and i have a ridiculous amount of love for their games the weapons in this game for brilliant there's a huge variety for every different situation there's different styles the customization of the weapons is really good the character customization is brilliant there's tons of different vehicles the sound effects i think are pretty damn good as well the graphics show signs of being very good in different places it kind of depends where you're looking to be honest but that is an early access thing that you can let go because all early access games have weird bits where they don't look quite as good as other areas but overall this is the large scale combat game that most of us have wanted for a very long time bearing in mind that battlefield hasn't been quite as good lately so i would definitely say keep your eye on this game i wouldn't recommend buying it right now unfortunately i would love to say go and buy it to support this game but unless you are patient and really really invested in this game don't buy it but 100 percent keep your eye on it because this game hopefully will be worth it eventually but i'm going to end this video was saying is this game completely dead is there no hope for it because people keep asking this question and making videos on it and honestly i would say no it is very very early access i definitely think it's gonna it's gonna have to work hard to get out of where it is right now because gamers are very quick to dismiss games that don't start off well or they don't want to play like this game could be left behind very quickly but it doesn't start picking things up what i would say to the developers if anyone is watching this is 
the whole prototype map thing, ignoring the fact that I don't agree with it being there, but like the other problem with that is don't go promoting that you're working on new content right now. I think you just go into a crunch for bugs because you need to get more people into the game and playing it so that YouTubers and streamers and everyone can start showing off the game and promoting it a bit more in a stable environment. But whereas right now, most of the content on this game is people either trying to play it and having issues or videos like this talking about the issues with the game directly. But that being said, this game is not dead. I don't think it's gonna necessarily fail because of this. It's just in a tough spot right now. But like I said, it's only in like version 0.3. So give it time and we'll see what happens because underneath all of the issues, there is a brilliant game there. And I think lots of people will have a ton of fun with it if it does get to the point where it is stable and fully released. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this game. Let me know if you are waiting to try or if you have tried it and what you think of it. I'm curious to see what you guys think about the whole thing. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do smack that like button and subscribe for some more awesome content. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.